this because I'm not a doctor. Okay, he's not a doctor. You joined in in the middle of a conversation where Paul says free lobotomies. Seth thought that wasn't funny to joke about lobotomies. I guess Seth's in med school. Yeah, Seth is in med school. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, hey, this is going to be how to do your own Mopar Digital Stripes Part 2. I'm going to show you something, and it's going to be a short video. We're not going to get, I'm not, I mean, I'm going to have to put the camera down. We are, I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, so, but, but this is a, I want to show you, okay, whenever you do a job, Paul, do you sometimes make a mistakes? Yeah, unfortunately. I'm sure. You want to take this right quick? And yeah. I want to show everybody something. Wait a minute, I want to hold on a second. Lay if you'll off. notice, like, I'm proud of the stripes, the way you measure them out, everything turned out pretty good. And, like, this edges over here look really good, but these edges right here look like doo-doo. See, look at that. Doo-doo edge. Yeah. Doo-doo edge. Doo-doo edge. Okay, we cannot let that go. I mean, this, this job has to look great. So I want to I want to show you something. A lot of times, like see, we painted the white, and and uh, one guy commented about trying to make stripes and how to clean them up. And I, I this is from years of learning the hard way. It's better in, it, to get a better result if you can put your stripe on top of your color. Like if I'd have painted the hood red and then put white stripes. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. The white stripes. The white stripes. But what I did was I painted it. Hey, we got a shop dog. Check it out. Come here, Percy. Say hi, everybody. Okay. Anyway, uh, but what I what we did was I painted the hood white, laid the stripes on. Got, but I'm still, uh, but I still wouldn't have done it different because we got the perfect measurement. I mean, everything's looking good, except where we cut these edges. Okay. A lot of times when you cut an edge, you get this, right? Okay. So. But if you'll notice, like right here, if you if you paint the red and then paint the white, hold, hold this. I want to I want to show something right quick. If you, okay, this is going to be a very crude analogy. Okay, if you pull your tape up like this and you cut it and you peel it, that can happen. Not this drastic, but that drastic. That can happen. It can happen. A it can happen. Little. Yeah. But if you put your tape along your bottom, right, and then put your tape along the top, right, and then put your tape here, you will have true corners, true edges. You know, the edges will be true. So what I'm going to do is wet sand the hood. I want to shoot my red. Right, mm -hmm. and then because I've already got my 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 lines made, all I got to do is is run a straight edge right down the side on both sides, make sure it's straight, which it will be, right? Mm -hmm. And then I come back in here with these. We just mask this off and 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 shoot the white on it, light, you know, just <coughs> just a coat of white over the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this hood's going to look good. It is going to look good. So that's how, like right here, see, we're going to run a straight, I'm going to run a straight edge right down through here. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on the outside. See how I'm on the outside of the white? That, what, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that there so that I know I don't have any of this booger showing. And then I'm going to do this. And that, you know, lengthwise, right? Right. And that way, this is going to be perfect square edges. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's how you clean up your stripe when you do your digital stripe. And like I said, uh, I don't like making mistakes. I really don't like making mistakes. Uh, but, man, everybody does. Uh, Sorry for I'll the shake, guys. Do what? Sorry for the shake, guys. We swapped oh, cameraman. We swapped cameraman. Uh, I was watching a show one time. There, there was this guy that has a YouTube channel named Uncle Tony, and I used to watch it and I would joke and laugh. Like, Look at all these stupid things. But one time he talked about how a lot of channels never show you their mistakes. That's called a fake channel. Uh, we all do it. We all make mistakes. And the deal about it is, is a lot of people do a how-to. Well, this is how you do something. 
And then if somebody's doing it and they make a mistake and they're like, well, how do I fix my mistake? Right. Well, the deal about a lot of times is, is when you're learning to do it yourself, a lot of times uh, you need to learn, well, how do I fix this? Right. The professionals will say, yeah. don't make the mistake don't in the first. Don't make the mistake in the first place. That, uh, that, yeah, that's yeah, just that, not that's, advice. That's just not real. So anyway, that's what we're fixing to do is, <coughs> truck's got to be done Saturday. 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 So we better get busy. So we're not going to talk and visit and joke. Well, we are, but you don't get to see it. Because we gotta, we gotta get busy with it. Yeah, we gotta get busy with it. Is that a song? I've got no idea. Got no idea. Never okay. heard of it. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you to our subscribers. Uh, if you're not, you know, if you, if you're not, a, if you watch this and you haven't click like and subscribe, please do. Uh, I don't, you know, and uh, so uh, thank you for everything and uh, thank you for joining in. Thank you for following us. And uh, hold on, can I want I want to do something right quick? Okay. This is I want to give you a brief glimpse of what I've been.